I think you've mentioned um, this briefly earlier, but can you comment more on the increasing popularity of you know detective fiction crime shows? Yeah. You know, this is not new. Huh? I mean, we've been, ever since we've had, uh, sorry, that's you. <laughs> it's not new. Um, we, we, ever since we've, we've had a kind of popular culture from the mid 19th century, crime fiction has been huge. Right? Um, but I think that part of the issue with that is that the detective sets a problem a problem of disorder, a problem of, 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 of um, rule breaking, of law breaking. Um, and they can't solve it. And usually the point is they do. So there's a sense in which what they do is solve problems in a neat way where ingenuity, patience, reading the clues, interviewing people, ultimately brings a solution to social problems. It's a reinforcement of rationality, of the rule, the rule of law. So there's this titillating, you know, yes, the world can be disorderly, and there can be this kind of world of things falling apart, but at the end it's brought together and order triumphs. And I think what we see increasingly is that when the world around us doesn't seem to be able to do that, it seems disorderly and law doesn't seem to work and crimes go unsolved and the, the bad people get away with murder. We like to see shows where, in fact, things come right in here and order is returned. It's a little bit like a healing ritual in Africa where somebody comes to you with, a, with a, a state of disease or disorder in the body and everybody gets together and the healer and the diviner asks the questions and then ostensibly health is restored. And it's a kind of allegory of the triumph of order in society. So I think there's that. But I think also we use detective fiction as a way of exploring circumstances. We use it. it it's, a, it's a fixed genre. It's a kind of a form that you can then use to put down. And while ostensibly you're only writing about crime, you're actually writing about the society. So people like Ian Rankin, famous Scottish, you know, who writes about you know, readers, this wonderful murder uh, uh, detective series, he's actually writing about the state of Britain now. Right? And he uses, ostensibly it's just about a detective fiction, but actually he's saying, why is this happening? Who is being prosecuted now? Who is the criminal? And, and, and how can we use this idea of good and bad, because these are morality stories, to say something about the society in which we live? So it's strangely anthropological in a way, I think. You know, it's diagnostic, and that's it. So that's where I think it is. Okay, well, um, short was the uh, point. So thank you very much for everybody for your questions. And uh, thank you very much for listening. And we all please put our hands together and thank you.